Welcome to the Selecting Teradata Vantage for AWS episode of the Teradata Vantage for AWS How-To Series. These series of episodes will walk you through the setup of Teradata Vantage for the AWS Public Cloud. Just to let you know, in October 2018, at Teradata's Analytics Universe Conference, the product known as the Teradata Database was rebranded with the Vantage name. You will see this new naming throughout these episodes and on the AWS Marketplace. However, you will also see references to Teradata Database as the name change filters through documentation and websites. Let's cover some basics. This is a technical video series and you are likely in a DBA, advanced developer, or consulting role. We expect that you are familiar with the AWS console and with AWS concepts in general. This episode, we'll cover the tier and ecosystem options for Teradata Vantage, which determine what products you will subscribe to in the AWS marketplace. Our first choice is what tier we will use. Let's go to the Teradata website for AWS, which is www.teradata.com forward slash AWS. This is really your best place for information on Teradata Vantage for AWS. Go ahead and scroll down, and on the left, you're going to see instructions for hourly or on-demand Vantage for AWS. Click on the link in step one, Teradata Vantage tier. Scroll down, and you're going to see another link for Teradata Vantage license tier options. Go ahead and click on that, and that's going to show up two topics here. How many licensing tiers are there? What does each include? And which software features are available in each tier? Go ahead and click on the first topic to expand it. And you're going to see that there are four tiers, developer, base, advanced, and enterprise. For this video series, we're going to choose the advanced tier, which is a great blend of features, workload management, and price. Go back to the Teradata Vantage for AWS page, and in step two on the left, click on the hourly on-demand instructions link. Scroll this down, and you're going to see a number of links here. Go ahead and click on the step one, determine which Teradata ecosystem you want to deploy link. And then scroll that down so you can see them. There are three ecosystem options for Teradata Vantage. There's test and development, minimum production, and full production. Test and development is the absolute minimum number of components you need just to run a supportable Vantage system. Minimum production adds a backup controller to that. And then full production allows you to use all of the optional Vantage components. For this video series, we're going to use the minimum production ecosystem. Our selected ecosystem of minimum production has four components. Teradata Vantage itself. Viewpoint, Server Management, and Data Stream Controller. Before we can launch all of these as an integrated ecosystem using a CloudFormation template, we need to subscribe to the products individually. Click on each of the product names in the Minimum Production Ecosystem section. We'll start with Vantage Advanced. This is going to take you directly to the product on the AWS Marketplace, where you can then subscribe to the product by clicking on the Continue to Subscribe button. You are not actually going to launch the product, but merely accept the license agreement for this product. Now, when you click on the subscribe button, you're actually going to get a message that you're being licensed and a check back in a few minutes. As I've already subscribed to this product, of course, I get a message that it's ready for me. Go ahead and go back to the ecosystem page and use this time to go ahead and click on the other products, which are viewpoint, server management, and data stream controller. Once you have subscribed to each of the products, you are ready for the next episode in this series, Preparing AWS for Teradata Vantage. If you have any questions, please let us know. Otherwise, feel free to go on to the next episode. Music